Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors. Got it. Look at that. Wow, is that an incredible fish. Got him. Whoa, this is an absolute monster. <laughs> We're headed to the best ice fisheries from across the ice belt. We'll fish longer, punch more holes, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites on ice. Oh, that's... <laughs> what a specimen. Oh, look at the size of that. Look at that fish. <laughs> that is a monster bike. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Good morning, everyone. James Holst here with In-Depth Outdoors at the start of what is our seventh season of broadcast here on Fox Sports North. Now, to start our season, including today's show, we have three episodes that were filmed last winter. Obviously, there's not a lot of ice out there right now for us to get out and film. But once those three shows are behind us, what you're going to see is episodes that are filmed on a Monday aired on a Sunday. And that short amount of time between filming the footage and airing it should make our content that much more useful to our viewers. When we talk about a hot bite, we're talking about a hot bite now. So with that said, let's get on with today's show. People ask me all the time, if I had to pick one location to catch a big walleye, where would I go? And there's lots of great destinations across the ice belt. Mille Lacs, Lake of the Woods, Rainy Lake, Devil's Lake, Green Bay. But if I had to pick one, and only one, it would be Lake Winnipeg in Winnipeg, Canada. And what makes this lake so incredible is its sheer size. It's massive. And come late winter, just before spawn time, you get this huge group of walleyes that comes out of the main basin of Lake Winnipeg, and they all cluster just outside the Red River. So with that said, stick around for today's show. You're going to see a lot of great big Lake Winnipeg greenbacks brought to the ice. Oh, this fish just smoked it. Ooh, there's more fish. Come here, buddy. Look at that. Oh, come here, sweet mama. Both times I've been here, that pink and white blade bait has just been dynamite. And this, uh, this is a body of water that has the rules regarding barbless hooks, so these things pop out nice and easy. These fish are going to group in just huge numbers in this area and run up the Red River. 23, maybe a little longer. That's a very nice male. Uh, you know, that's not really what we came here for, though. We want those big bottomed females. 28 plus. That's our goal. We're going to let that guy go. Thank you for the thrill. No fuss, no muss, gone. A quarter ounce blade bait. I've tried other lures here. I know a lot of other vibrating, rattling lures will work. This one for me has just been dynamite. I really haven't had the need to switch to anything else. I think if I could come up here, put six of these in my pocket and a couple of rods, I'd be good to go. I got two of them over here. Yeah, I had one that just comes jetpacking after me and I missed him. He's just hanging out right below it. Here he comes. Oh, that's a good sound. That was a heck of a hit. Not much of a fish, but it sure made up for the hit. Holy cow. It's about our average fish for the day so far. Probably 18 inch fish. So I'm gonna get this guy back. Thanks, sweetheart. As you can probably see around the holes here, this lake is just littered with water everywhere on the ice. There's some places there's six inches of standing water on the, on the ice. It makes for very wet travel, but uh, very re rewarding travel. I got a blade bait stuck to me, but it's ready to go. They got a big one over there. Fish on! <laughs> <laughs> that was a cheap and easy one there. <laughs> yeah, if you can grab that, that'd be great. You know, you just never know. This is awesome. Come here, sweetheart. Here he comes. Oh, that's a dandy. Oh, Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Yeah. <laughs> Like a large ball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Unreal. Phenomenal. I got to get a measurement on that. That's bigger than anything I caught last year. Well, by far. We didn't even come close to something like that last year. I got a tape in my pocket. Will you? Will you measure it for yeah. me? Yep. Oh, look at that thing. It's from the tips of my fingers up to my cheek. Zero right there. Yeah, 28. Nice. 28 inch fish. <laughs> Not bad for the first couple hours up here on Lake Winnipeg. 
you know, you say Manitoba, guys think that you're jumping on a float plane, driving all over the place, whatever it takes to get to a lake like this, but it's just not that far. I no. mean, it's an extra hour, hour and, a, hour and a half maybe from Lake of the Woods. That's why we come here. I mean, look at that. And thing. numbers, not and just numbers, this one. Yeah. I'm gonna let this fish go. Obviously, she's got a belly full of eggs that she's gonna drop here in probably about three weeks, I would imagine. Wow. But what a tremendous fish. Come on, sweetheart. Woo. Back that's, you go. That's a superstar right there. <laughs> Fills up that eight inch hole. <sighs> Buddy, there's gonna be awesome. more, many more. Yep. Look at that big tail. Whoosh. Gone. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome fish. Pink and white magic, nothing simpler. And like I said, that fish did all the work for me. Fishing it about a foot off the bottom, just happened to look over at another fisherman. He was uh, fighting a smaller fish. That big girl came up and just pounded it. Yeah, I, broke off my, I broke off my line earlier, and I hope that's what that fish was <laughs> that I broke off because I'm gonna keep fishing hard because Happy dance. Lake, Lake Winnipeg is, this is where it's at. We've got the best weather a person can imagine. There's a little wind, so what? It's gotta be, what, 45 degrees today? Today, the only issue out here is just staying dry, waterproof, because it is a little sloppy in areas. So, you know, we knew the temperature was gonna be very warm today. So we set the snow suits aside, rain gear, Frable storm suits. It's been just the perfect solution out here. Absolutely. Well, that was pretty cool. <laughs> I'm gonna not pay attention more. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go back to my action here. I love this place. This winter, start seeing red. Visit MarkhamTech.com and this winter, start seeing red. Mind if I fish with you guys? No, but if you're using custom jigs and spins lures, you better get a bigger bucket. With custom jigs and spins, new tungsten heavy metal jigs, you'll get down to the big ones quickly and catch more and bigger fish. These jigs have been designed by world-renowned Croatian ice fisherman Czechai Matt. Czechai number one with Czechai lures fishing. Go Czechai, go! So when you use custom jigs and spins, try the new tungsten heavy metal ice jigs. Custom jigs and spins, the highest bait below the ice. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Lots of ways to uh, waterproof test a pair of clothing. That's probably uh, the most unique, but I can tell you what, I'm bone dry. Getting there is definitely more than half the fun. That was a long four miles. You gonna make an omelet? You're gonna break some eggs. Some of these guys are gonna go off and kind of scout, see where's a good spot to cross, because this is not it. Snow's really deep here, and all the snow that's still on the ice has really weighed it down, so it's low. You get through that top crust of snow, and there's a lot of water under it, so. As soon as these tires break through, get down to that water, you don't go anywhere. Guys are back in Minnesota playing tennis outside in shorts, and I'm burying the mufflers on this thing in the ice. So, you know, the season for us closes at the end of February, and here we'll be fishing walleyes on Lake Winnipeg right up till the closure, which is April 1st, even in years uh, when the weather has been so incredibly warm, 60s and 70 degree temperatures, they just get such cold, hard winters here. It's a great way to add six weeks to your season, basically, and the fish, of course, justify the drive. Uh-oh. There we go. Look how thick that one is. Look at that greenback Lake Winnipeg. Big old belly on that girl, huh? Once again, deep fishing tackle. Simple, simple pink and white blade. I'm not tipping it with any meat, but some guys are tipping it with meat today and having pretty good luck. Wow, look at the girth on that thing. That fish is probably maybe 21, 22 inches, but probably 14, 15 inches around. Just a beauty, beautiful fish, chunker. I don't want to let this fish out of the water too much longer, so I'm gonna take her off and get her back down and try to get myself another big one here quick. Manitoba is required to have no barbs, so it makes re removal really, really easy. Thanks a lot, sweetheart. Nice tail kick, and away we go. Right behind James is, uh, you know, pretty much the, uh, the famous Red River that you hear so much about in springtime that floods, you know, floods Fargo, floods Grand Forks up into Winnipeg, and right here is where it dumps in. Is there much current coming out of those cuts, Cal? 
talking to the locals, you know, there's a lot of tributaries, obviously the main one being the, the famous Red River, flows out into the south basin of Lake Winnipeg and kind of creates a back eddy, you know, similar to what you'd see anywhere on the Mississippi. And that eddy is stirring up plankton, therefore the minnows are by it, bait fish, and obviously those greenbacks aren't far away. I think I'm due for one to uh, just come in and just pound me. Big fish? Oh yeah, James, this one does feel a lot better. Better than those ones I was catching this morning. Oh yeah, there we go. Not a huge fish, but look at how chunky that fish is. That fish has got a big belly on her. You know, she's probably about a 20 inch fish. Um, very healthy, very, very big, very fat. Just chowing on the blade bait. Nice battle, I'll let this girl go right away. That's the key, like Winnipeg fishing is, you know, we were just 40 yards um, away from where we are right now. James went and drilled three holes. I came over here and literally three minutes into me fishing, popped that nice 20 plus inch fish. So it pays to drill holes, it pays to bring a lot of gas, and uh, obviously it can be rewarded really well. You know, we've really focused today on fishing blade baits here on Lake Winnipeg, and I want to talk very briefly about not only how to fish them, but why we choose this type of bait. Uh, the water on Lake Winnipeg is generally quite stained, meaning you know a small minnow under a bob or just wiggling away seductively under the ice just isn't going to be seen or felt by very many walleyes. It's very important to have a bait that you can work that gives off a lot of flash and vibration to call these fish in. So we're fishing it two ways. Uh, one, Cal calls it fishing it naked, that's without bait. Uh, when you're fishing a blade without bait, on the upward stroke, you're gonna get a lot of vibration. And when the fish are aggressive, that's gonna call these fish in from a great distance. Now the point I wanna make about how to fish this blade and get fish to strike is, when you don't see fish on your fish finder, we're using the LX7 today, fish it a little bit more aggressively. Get those fish to come in from a distance. And then once you have them under your bait, and you're seeing the mark of that fish on your LX7, slow it down. Now you're also seeing us fish these blades with bait. And the reason we're doing that is uh, that blade bait, when tipped with a minnow, offers two different forms of attraction. You've got the color and bulk of the bait, but you also have that minnow in the back to kind of close the deal. Middle of the day, when there's more sun, you don't need quite as much vibration to call those fish in. But that bright body, that larger profile size, will get those fish to come in and investigate that bait. So again, throwing that minnow on there is really all it takes to seal the deal. Just smacked it, just inhaled that blade bait. At Otter Outdoors, we're committed to building a tougher, stronger, smarter line of ice shelters. Tougher is our roto-molded sleds, known for their legendary strength and durability. Stronger is our anodized square tube frame, oversized and substantially stronger than round tubing. Smarter is our fully sewn and quilted insulated Pro Series and Wild Series thermal shells, and a complete line of smarter accessories. This winter, let Otter Outdoors unleash the tougher, stronger, smarter ice angler in you. Come on. Come on, fish. Oh. I've got two of them on the screen now, both eyeballing me. You know, when you realize that the next fish could be 14 pounds, this stuff gets intense. There he goes, yes, finally, oh, better fish. I tell you what, that's just patience right there. I mean, that fish was in and out of the cone four or five times, eyeballing it, making little fake little charges at it. Stay hooked up, let me see who you are. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, I love this place. I look forward to this trip every year. Just completely ate it up. Maybe that's why they mandate barbless hooks up here in Manitoba, because their fish are just so aggressive. I mean, that is a giant, giant walleye. Hooks come out nice and easy. What an absolute tanker. Gorgeous fish. All right, we're gonna let her go. I mean, we're pushing. That's an eight pound fish. Exceptional everywhere else. Here, that would be, uh, you know, better than average. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've got to do this trip every year for as long as I'm able to do it. I just would not miss the chance to come back here and tangle with these greenbacks. Just special. You know, we've got great walleye fishing in Minnesota, and I'd say for numbers, Minnesota is just as good. But this fishery, for big fish, I mean, you come out here and it just seems like every fish, the potential's there to be, you know, eight, 10, 12 pounds. 
Enough talking. I got to get this bait back down there. What are you fishing, Cal? Naked blade. Naked blade. Love it. I think the key here is just not to overthink it too darn much. Right. Jig, sea fish, set hook. Yes. <laughs> Try not to break your line. <laughs> Cal's the only guy I know that can break a swivel. Of course, the uh, big greenbacks here have a lot to do with that. There we go. Get them. <laughs> yes. Good one. Fat fish. Oh, <laughs> chunky monkey. <laughs> Quick fight, but uh, she's definitely making up for it in size. I want to get this blade bait unhooked quick before I get one in my finger. Look at that fish. Shallow water fishing like this, um, you set the hook and sometimes it comes straight to the top of the ice like a bass, like that one did. Literally shot straight up the hole and I wasn't quite ready for it, but this one would have been good to, to have a nice long fight with. But wow, what a, what a fat fish. I'll let her go. She's going to go away just fine. Look at that. Awesome. I had to work for that one a little bit, but when she did decide to eat, man, she ate with she ate with a lot of aggression. Um, at that time, I wasn't using a minnow head on the blade bait, but man, that's that does not get old. No. <laughs> <laughs> You know, up here on this shallow flat, uh, this is definitely not a big fish only uh, location. We've got fish of all size classes up here, and that's just all part of these fish uh, grouping up and staging for the spawn. I mean, every mature fish, you know, anything over 15, 16, 17 inches, whatever that uh, first spawn size is uh, for the fish in this lake, they're all going to run up the Red River here and spawn in about three weeks. A lot of people when they go up on some of these trips, they, they often, or sometimes you hear them saying they get sick of catching, you know, certain size fish, or they get stuck catching certain size fish, like 15, 16 inch fish. Lake Winnipeg here, you could catch an eight inch fish and your next fish could be 28 inches. It keeps you drilling holes and it keeps you moving. The last hole you drill in a sequence of holes, especially straight line holes, is always the best one. I'll be down there. There he is. <laughs> New holes equal new fish. <laughs> that didn't take long. No, it's too easy. Too many fish in too short of a time. I chose the wrong hole to start. Fish of a lifetime. It's going to happen. Come on now. <laughs> Every one of them. Just giants. <laughs> you know, this is the first time I've ever really seriously fished with bait on a blade bait. Kind of bizarre, but I'm telling you what it is working. What it's allowed us to do when we got up in these shallow waters, first thing this morning, they were aggressive. We didn't need any bait. And uh, these fish now, they're kind of turning their nose up at just plain artificials. So we've added that little bit of uh, scent, put that little minnow on the back of the blade bait. It's actually reduced the vibration of the blade bait quite a bit. And the fish just keep on eating. Typically, we'd have to leave this area to continue to stay on fish, have to go to deeper water. But what a fantastic, fantastic fish. All right, mama, thank you. Off you go. <laughs> it's my lucky day. At Otter Outdoors, we're committed to building a tougher, stronger, smarter line of ice shelters. Tougher is our roto molded sleds, known for their legendary strength and durability. Stronger is our anodized square tube frame, oversized and substantially stronger than round tubing. Smarter is our fully sewn and quilted insulated Pro Series and Wild Series thermal shells, and a complete line of smarter accessories. This winter, let Otter Outdoors unleash the tougher, stronger, smarter ice angler in you. Here it comes. Oh, put the brakes on. Every one of these fish fights the same. What I'm noticing here, as we get further and further in the day, these fish are hitting so much harder. This morning they would hoover it up, and now they're just coming in just angry fish. I don't know that I've ever caught this many big walleyes in a day, ever, at any time through the ice in my life. This is a dream trip. Just, just about every time we get out here on the ice, on this lake, this is what it's like. Of course, today is definitely the best I've ever seen it. All right, that's the sound we want to hear. Another giant. <laughs> Hold your fin out for me, sweetheart. What a fish. Just amazing. Pink and white blade bait. We're gonna let her go. Just an absolute phenomenal fish. I tell you what, a guy would have to be pretty much on his deathbed to not have unlimited fun doing this. I don't know where else a guy can go, what it would take to get on a fishery where you're gonna have this kind of experience, but 
anybody out there, whether you're an old hand or you're just getting started in the sport of ice fishing for walleyes, this is the place to be. This is the time of the year to do it. These big walleyes are in here in numbers and it's almost as if they want to make our trips a trip to, of a lifetime, one that we're gonna never forget. They're just so active and aggressive. That's a good one. That hook felt, hook set felt real nice. And she is, look at that one, wow. Talk about a Lake Winnipeg greenback at its finest right there. At its absolute finest. What a stud of a fish. That female just came in and also boom. There it is right in its mouth. Pink and white blade. You don't really have them hooked all that good with this. Look at that, I mean, just came out next to nothing. Wow, what a fish. Definitely get this one back for you. Wow, fired off. That's awesome, that's why we come up here. That fish is the reason why we come up here. I mean, today has been multiple, multiple of that 25 to 27 inch caliber fish. Manitoba here has got a 28 inch master angler. Most of us have touched that master angler class fish today, or at least hooked up with them. So it's turned out to be a great day. We have guys in our group that are actually peeling off the sweatshirts. It's close to 65 degrees and there's still three feet of ice mid-March here. So excellent, excellent day to be out ice fishing. Oh yeah, she's just sitting right below the ice not wanting to give an inch. <laughs> Come on. Come on. All right. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Let me get down in there. Yeah. What a giant. It's a conveyor belt. One after another after another, these big fish. You know, uh, earlier we talked about moving deeper, middle of the day, and what we found is even with this real wispy cloud cover, it's just enough to cut the light penetration. These fish have not left the shallows. We went out into 17, 18 foot of water, caught some smaller fish, come back in here shallow, and they are just still on a tear. Uh, let's get down in here, get this blade loose. Got him, there we go. Pink and white blade bait, that one right there been responsible for hundreds of pounds of fish today. There's what I've been waiting for. You'll never believe how I got mine. I kind of have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> I walked up and I'd left my rod in the hole when I was punching that little series of holes. I looked down on the LX-7, there was a fish underneath it, so I grabbed the line by my hand Gave it two jerks and that fish hit it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Pretty fish. Pretty fish. We're making an absolute mockery of this. Yeah, this is this is going really well. You can't I don't think you can plan this any better. <laughs> You're yes. an understatement with that one. Back you go, sweetheart. This is one of those days, man. Be thinking about this all summer. As you start to get geared up for the next ice fishing season, this is the day that we're gonna think about. Yeah, the the flashbacks of getting pumped up to to do what we love, ice fish, you know. This is it. Well, there's no doubt that today's episode is the ice fishing trip that helped me get through the summer. And during the last couple hours of light, we put the video cameras down, brought out the steel cameras, and just kept fishing. And I iced my largest walleye through the ice ever at a little over 13 pounds. And everyone on this trip boated to fish at or over 30 inches. So thanks for tuning in this week. Look forward to having you here back next week. Thanks for watching. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at Indepth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.